Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. 
Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First, we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available.
Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. The presentation will start in 5, 4, 3.
Hello, everybody. Hi, this is Ralph from Berlin, broadcasting live again. Welcome to the Academia Dexibel on this Saturday evening. Again, most beautiful weather. Again, we are stuck at home. All of us, I guess, around the world still in the same situation. I hope is improving fast. <laughs> I, re I really do. Okay, so uh, let's dive into what we're going to be doing today. Today's subject is Dexibel, the Acoustic Piano Library. We will have a look to the uh, acoustic piano sounds that we have available. <coughs> Sorry, whether already installed in our instrument or on the web page for downloading for free into your instrument. Then we will have um, we will explore the possibilities of our T2L engine and we will modify and adjust uh, the piano sound in different directions. We will have uh, listen to the different kind of piano sounds we have provided for you. And of course, as always, there will be questions, questions and answers. Uh, you just type in your questions into the YouTube chat and I will try to answer. Or, of course, the Dexibel team in the background is continuously trying to answer and answering uh, your questions on the YouTube chat. So, before proceeding here, um, I would like to answer a couple of questions that I couldn't take care of in the last uh, webinar due to timing reasons, etc. So, uh, first question is from Kevin Boisneau. Hello everyone, Ralph, please let everyone know that in order to format USB drive to FAT32, that is a uh, format that has to be done on the USB drive, um, but usually they, they come already formatted when you buy them. Uh, um, Kevin uh, remarks that the memory cannot exceed 32 gigabyte, uh, and he had to learn that through trial, error, and research. Um, Kevin, I have uh, checked this one actually here, um, and uh, when I have a look at at this uh, at my own USB drive, who has a 64 uh, gigabyte. It's in German, the, uh, the writing, but it says the capacity is uh, 61.52. So that is actually the full capacity and it should work. If you have um, made different experience, I would like to kindly ask you to contact uh, Dex, uh, 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 info at, <laughs> sorry, info at Dexibel. I'm going to get right out of my face now. Info at Dexibel and uh, ask uh, more in depth. Then, there was a David um, Gilson. A number of web sounds like the analog synth contain a list of sounds. If I only wanted to load two of the sounds, could I do this? And would it leave me more memory to save other sounds? Okay, David, the situation is like that. Um, all the sounds that we have actually packaged in one uh, web sounds such as the analog sound or all the pianos as well, they contain several patches already. Uh, leaving them out doesn't affect the memory usage at all. So um, actually we decided to give them all to you. So especially in the pianos, there's usually the, the grand piano, the live piano, the classical, the bright and etc. etc. That doesn't affect the memory usage at all. And then there was uh, Luca Morganti. Now Ralph has downloaded a sound from the S7 Pro library. Is that library also compatible with S7? Uh, Luca, yes, the good news, uh, of course, is yes. Um, our sounds are cross-compatible to our whole lineup of uh, Vivo, stage instruments, portable instruments, the sound module SX7, the home pianos, H137 and the J7 uh, combo organ. So it's the same engine. It's it's actually the it's actually the same possibilities. 
Uh, we will dive into that a little bit later in more depth uh, when I'm going to the web uh, and showing you our sound library. Okay, these are the questions from uh, last uh, week. I am again, this time, using the S7 Pro here on my hands. And uh, you can see on the web, again, uh, S7 Pro, S7 Pro M, basically the same model with internal speakers. S9, SX7, the S1, the S3 Pro. So all the instruments have the same engine, except the S9, who has, in addition to the piano engine, an organ engine, which we will be covering in another webinar coming up very soon. Okay, so uh, before really diving into all of this, I would like to invite uh, again, uh, Mr. Luigi Brutti, the father of Dexibel, the, f the, fa the father of Dexibel and the director of the R&D team. And uh, um, I have asked him to, to give you a little bit insights about the recording procedure, how he has, uh, how he has had his idea and the recording. So he has prepared a little video for us. And we're going to watch this video now right away. Ciao, Ralph. Uh, yes, about uh, the recording of uh, acoustic piano, the beauty of the Dexibel sound start directly in the way we have recorded the sound. We took the instrument inside uh, a recording studio with an environment with controlled reflections. Then we use uh, a special technique with uh, uh, four microphones, two at the side of the player, two at the side of the audience, then uh, a special uh, microphone from the sound field uh, that has four capsules to record in uh, holophonic way, in 3D. So you have uh, not only the stereo image, but you get also the depth of the sound. Everything was uh, directly driven by vintage tube preamplifications and then directly inside the digital conversion at 24 bit 96 kilohertz we had uh, the help of uh, several great pianists uh, and also several great tuner that stay with us and help us uh, to make the sound uh, uh, more mellow more bright to perfectly tune every single note. I have uh, a small clip that uh, I can show to you and to all the, the webinar guests about our recording section for the Acoustic Grand Piano. Okay, thank you very much, Luigi. Thank you very much to the Dexable R&D team. 
Um, it was very, very important during this recording session to be able to separate uh, the different components that create this uh, beautiful piano sound. And these components, for example, are... Just a second, I want to give you this picture. These components are hammer noise, key off noise, damper noise, string resonance, and damper resonance. So these components have actually been uh, separated and now they are reassembled using our fantastic T2L engine. So let me, um, let me just briefly dive into that. Um, I just play a couple of notes with uh, just a Vivo Grand. That's the uh, signature sound of Dexibel. And I eliminated all kinds of uh, reverb and uh, stuff. So this is just a pure Vivo Grand. You see, there is no reverb. The only thing you actually listen to is the resonance inside the piano body, which is quite amazing and quite impressive because you can really hear the strings vibrate and resonate. And this is also a part of the uh, of the great piano sound uh, is the what we call the staccato resonance. It's not a reverb; it's the real sound that is emerging from the grand piano body when you play staccato. Then we can adjust the level of hammer noise in the piano sound. So let me go there again. Increase, decrease, key off noise is the mechanical noise when the player release the key. Of course, these noises are dynamic. If I release softly, I have less noise. If I release more quickly, I have more mechanical noise. Uh, like it is in the uh, acoustic grand piano. Then there's the damper noise. I just crank that up. And also, when you're using a uh, continuous damper pedal, this damper noise, of course, is uh, dynamic. Pressing softly is less damper noise. Pressing more hard is more damper noise. Then there is the string resonance. And this is creating, let me show you this picture, this is creating the interaction between the notes as probably one of the most important parameters in the sound because this is when this is what separates one a sample of one single note from the whole piano so if i'm doing a silent touch here and i start hitting notes you will hear uh, the resonances of these two strings here so you have all harmonics all the way up there and now you have to imagine that these kind of resonances of course are happening continuously when you play now the level of resonance is at plus 63 that's probably a bit over the top so we are gonna bring it down a little okay and then there's the damper resonance which is kind of uh, creating the resonance of the upper strings of the piano that they don't have an actual damper so you can hear it's a little bit as if you would be uh, very very close to the grand piano with your ears or with the microphone so if i'm if i'm increasing all these uh, noises i can create that feeling to be really very close uh, in inside the, uh, the piano body.
So it's just really pure, no room ambience, nothing, just the pure sound. So by using these parameters, let's uh, have a look one more time. Hammer noise, key off noise, damper noise, string resonance, damper resonance. You can already significantly modify the sound um, and uh, adjust the sound uh, to your personal playing style. And of course, also maybe sometimes even to the specific song you are playing. Let's listen one more time to the staccato resonance. And then we will have a listen to the same resonance, but using the upright piano. Here the resonances are much more boomy, and this is actually what is really inside the upright piano body. Again, you can dive in here and modify the parameters, hammer noise, key of noise, etc. So these parameters are actually available in all piano sounds, no matter if they are coming with the instrument internally or you downloaded them from our website and you install them into your instrument. The, the parameters are the same and we took very, very much care of these details for every single grand piano or upright piano uh, that we have created for you. So this is one way of actually modifying the sounds by just using T2L parameters. But there is also a way of modifying the sound by using multi-effects. And for the piano sound, the most uh, probably two, uh, the two most commonly used multi-effects is uh, the reverb and the equalizer. Already with these two, you can dramatically change the texture and the feeling of the sound. So let's at this moment switch off the reverb again. Then let's bring in some reverb. And uh, you can see me doing that here. I will give you the look on the screen one more time. In this area, we have the knobs. And already uh, we uh, assigned the most significant parameters, the most important parameters for each of those effect algorithms. So one would be level, right? And one would be the room size. So let's create a smaller room. That's kind of a um, yeah, middle middle sized room, I would say. And already the feeling is different when I switch off the reverb. Switch on the reverb. It gives you that ambience feeling. Then we can have a look into the equalizer. And here we have several bands. Low, high, mid one, mid two and you can again dramatically modify the sound. So uh, let's make a low cut. Of course, we have to switch on the EQ. You see it's already sounding again significantly different. Let's um, make it more mellow by applying kind of a high cut. Let's do that even, let's bring it down even more. Switching off the EQ, switching on the EQ. So again, just by using this, uh, you can create a real difference. This was just, this was just reverb and equalizing. And uh, this is something that I usually do for uh, all my patches that I'm using to be uh, 
suitable um, to to make the patches suitable uh, with um, the song I'm gonna play. So if I'm going for that more vivo concert grand feeling, which goes like. So there's a certain amount of reverb. You can have a look here. Let me give you this one again. You see, so that's. You hear the reverb? Or if you would go more for an, an intimate feeling, you would go, uh, say, here, increase. Um, Increase the noises, small reverb. Quite different, but there's more. And I just see uh, Jay's, uh, Jay's question, and here it is. Are the live versions simply EQ'd brighter? Uh, Jay? Uh, no, <laughs> it's, not, it's not only that. Uh, there is more to it. Let me uh, jump in and explain what we did here. Again, switching off all the reverb. So in this screen, you can see in the v in the vivo gra in the vivo uh, sound. There is the vivo grand, the vivo live, the pop grand, the bright, the classic, and the piano memory. So let's have a have a listen there. The vivo grand is, uh, as I said, our signature sound. Very strong, bright sound, good uh, bass, very profound. And it has also the the, noi the noises uh, adjusted in the way that this grand piano sounded for us in the studio, such as the hammer noise or the damper noise. Okay, the live uh, uh, grand is uh, the bass has cut has been cut a little um, to begin with, so uh, it's more suitable for playing in a band because there is a bass player and a drummer, and you don't actually need so much uh, low frequency to, to cut through in the band. And this is something that usually the sound engineer at the front of house would do automatically. And we decided we can already provide this kind of adjustment. Then also, um, the uh, level of damper noise is reduced because the damper noise has, by its nature, uh, a lot of low frequency. And uh, this is something you might not necessarily need on a huge stage with a huge PA. And uh, then the, the layering of the samples has been modified a little. So it's, it's kind of a little bit more crisp from the behavior and the dynamic reaction point of view. So let me just compare it. The Vivo Grand. <laughs> and the Vivo Live. So you can hear the sound texture is a little bit different. When I play... Uh, when I do the same with the Vivo Grand, it's, you, you feel it's a little bit more soft, although I'm playing exactly the same style here. So that's a patch we, we provided for you to be, uh, yeah, for your live performance. Then the next one that I'd like to show you is the, the classical grand. The classical grand is a little bit more mellow. So it's very, very suitable for classical. This would be the, 
one of the songs I would love to play with this uh, kind of sound, the classical grand. And again, of course, you can always modify and adjust all these parameters, the reverb, the EQ. And on top of that, you have a lot of more um, effects, flanger, chorus, phaser. Uh, flanger, I probably wouldn't use for a classical grand piano. But well, again, who knows? Uh, it's it's then we reach uh, then we enter the great the big subject of sound designing, and here uh, creativity can actually do you can do what you want and uh, get a nice. It's not so bad actually. Interesting. Then the pop grand is uh, much more crisp. I give you the display one more time. Right, so if you compare this with the classical, again the pop. So that's uh, really a different animal here. Then uh, I usually like to use uh, layered tones with the pop grand for playing pop music, uh, pop music apparently. And I also usually use a, an expression pedal. Um, and here's my expression pedal setting. So I go into the control menu, expression pedal, and then I can see the four, uh, four real-time groups here. Main, coupled, that's the layered part here, and lower and bass. And in this setting, I usually switch off the expression pedal for the piano part because I don't want the piano sound to react the whole time when I'm moving the expression pedal, but the synth pad, the layered pad, it has to react to the expression pedal. So let me show you. Expression pedal down. Now bringing it up. Yes. And then the system how to switch on and off these real-time parts is also very, very flexible and real-time oriented. So I'm not sure if you're familiar if you're familiar with this uh, tune. It's uh, Water Fountain, David Foster from the movie The Secret of My Success. <laughs> Bringing in the pad, and now there is an arpeggio on the piano, but this arpeggio shall only be played with the piano sound, not the synth sound. At this moment, I'm holding the sound with the damper pedal. I'm controlling volume with expression pedal and now I'm virtually disconnecting the key bed from the synth sound but still holding the sound and controlling the sound. So I'm doing the arpeggio just with the piano sound. That's perfect for live on stage. Now re-engaging the coupled part. see me doing stuff here now, going to the lower, there's an electric piano. Arpeggio again with the piano, and now piano and layered part. Parts.
right, so you could see me working here with all these knobs and buttons. Very beautiful, very real-time and uh, live-oriented. So these have been uh, different versions of this one um, piano sound, the Vivo signature sound. That was the Vivo Grand, the Vivo Live, the pop uh, piano. So here we go. That's, wh that's actually what we have here. So I can see uh, nice to have X. Jay is asking, nice to have that extra button we don't have on the S7. Jay, can I ask you to specify this question, which extra button you're talking about? Because this what I'm just this piece, what I just played and how I played it, sh you could do actually exactly like that on the uh, on the S7. Uh, unless I misunderstand uh, the button you're talking about. Anyhow. Now let's have a short look into uh, or onto the Dexibel uh, library. So I give you our web page one more time. And um, here we do have, again, listed all our instruments. This is in the stage mod and module section. Then there is the portable, the home, the digital organ, and the legacy instruments. So let's go to the home. And in every instrument you recalling here, you will have a sound library. Why did we distinguish? Uh, there is one very simple reason for that. It is because some of our instruments come with uh, different instruments pre-installed. So, um, for example, in uh, our stage series, we in our new stage series, we have the Japan Grand installed. In our home series, we don't have the Japan Grand installed. So, um, so uh, this is why we decided to have uh, for each instrument the uh, correct categories and the correct number of sounds that you can download from the web. So let's go and have a look at the S7 Pro. Here is the sound library, and I will open this one. And here we can say, because today is uh, the day of the acoustic uh, piano library, there is the German grand, there is the Italian grand, there is a honky tonk, a ragtime piano, and a romantic grand. The romantic grand, just to give you a little background, is an instrument um, that we could borrow it's a uh, real that's real vintage <laughs> this one it has been built in 1850 it's a french brand named playel and 1850 was the time when frédéric chopin was playing and writing his music and he actually used the brand playel to play his beautiful music so we can say that at dexibel we have the vintage Frédéric Chopin sound, and this is the Romantic Grand, or in the Platinum series, it is called French Platinum. So we have quite a significant number of piano sounds in the meanwhile. I uh, actually downloaded all of them already, of course, and um, here is my download folder, and here I have the uh, the uh, USB stick installed in my uh, laptop here, and for uh, to show you uh, the the difference between the different uh, models in terms of web library, here is the piano web library of the S7 Pro. That's the French Platinum, the German Grand, the German Platinum, the Honky Tonk, Italian, etc., etc., etc. If I would have a, a, an S1, then we have this kind of library. And here you see there is not the Honky Tonk and there is not the Romantic Grand because in the S1, the Romantic Grand and the Honky Tonk are pre installed already. So this is the reason why we structured our website like that. Okay, so, uh, and one more time, uh, when you download uh, sounds, 
this is my download folder on the computer and you install them in on the on the USB drive when you copy them on the USB drive you need to create this folder is called sound so the instrument can find the sound folder and then you have the axis here on the on the display when we go inside the sound library Here is the internal, the I stands for internal, and if I'm scrolling down here, I will eventually go to the E, which is the expanded sounds. So now going to add, now I can add from the internal archive, I want to know, oh, it's two, two megabyte uh, free, that's not so much anymore, but never mind. Then there is the USB, and you see the USB says USB, uh, backslash sound and uh, no, not backslash slash sound and here is the folder of sound here are the uh, piano sounds that I have copied to this USB drive at this moment and uh, I have actually prepared a little video for you where I am playing the same classical piece uh, again and again and again using six different piano sounds uh, such as the uh, the Vivo Grand, the Japan Grand, the German, the Italian, the Upright um, and, uh, and so forth. Uh, so let me just play this video for you and you can I think clearly hear the significant difference between the the, the significant sound difference between the different piano models and uh, yeah let's let's just play the video here we go Okay, so uh, of course this pre uh, this video was pre-recorded um, exactly for the reason of loading time. 
So I decided I don't want to give you the loading time. I just want to give you the musical exa example here. So that's what the video is about. Okay, so let me um, let me jump to the next subject. We now have uh, compared uh, those six piano models that we have in the Dexable library. Uh, but it would be nice to also have one little comparison with the, let me call it the real thing, the acoustic grand piano. And uh, some time ago, we have made a uh, quite an interesting presentation at the famous London College of Music in the uh, United Kingdom. And um, we had the stage in the auditorium, and we made the sound check and the rehearsal and, and the regular things before you go live, so to speak. And we f we saw in the corner, in backstage in the corner, we saw uh, a covered grand piano, with that that uh, layer of cover over it. And we thought, okay, what what is underneath there? And it was a very uh, prestigious, uh, precious grand piano. And then we thought, okay, let's let's have a go just for fun. And then we thought, why can we not do that in front of our audience? Do uh, a live comparison or a live match. This at the time was the Vivo H7 with no extra speakers connected and a prestigious grand piano. So in this little video, um, I jump back uh, between those two instruments and you can hear the digital instrument, the Dexibel, and the acoustic instrument in a direct comparison. And we've had one microphone on each instrument. So let's have a listen at the LCM, London College of Music, uh, comparison. Today we have a real opportunity. We have a, a, a real grand piano over there. Uh, we decide to make uh, uh, not a comparison, but just a trial between uh, a digital piano with its own amplification and uh, a real uh, grand piano and uh, side by side to check. Of course, we do not want to compete with an acoustic piano. We never can substitute an acoustic piano. But just to give you an example how uh, near we are with the sound and how strong is the amplification that can reach you directly without any speaker system. The microphone that you see has been put purely to record the video. So we need the audio from the instrument for the video that we are shooting. So there is no sound coming from PA on this example. So that was a uh, very good memories to uh, our visit to London. Um, actually, after this presentation, the prestigious London College of Music decided to have, uh, for the first time in their history, digital pianos in their students' rooms, and is Dexibel. So we are very, very proud, very, very proud indeed on that. So let's jump back to some of the sound variations we have in the instrument. And one, uh, one of the sounds that I have been asked several times, uh, what is this and how can you use it, is actually the piano memory sound. So what is the piano memory sound? Techni technically spoken, this is a sound where we just applied a filter and a huge reverb. So if I switch this off, so you just have the the 
normal, so to speak, uh, grand piano. Before I told you, you have the um, we have the uh, mul uh, we have the multi effects, and you can do quite uh, significant changes by using them. So this is one of the really significant changes. Let's start with the reverb. So it's putting you in a really back <laughs> in a really big uh, hall, and now we use the filter. We can open and close. And this kind of damped down sound is something I, I would probably use in um, film scoring or something like that to create that, that kind of uh, retrospect or memory effect when you have that If we switch off, reverb and filter. Well, let's switch it on again. So this is actually about sound design and something you might want to do. Um, when you record your performance, when you create tracks for film, etc. I have created, let me see here, you can show this to you. I have created um, a patch where I've layered and split several sounds. So I have created, uh, I've recreated the memory piano, but this time using the upright. So again, switching off, filter. And uh, I, I used a triple tap delay. Then I also have a split point, it's here. And now, I bring in those beautiful synth pads. With another filter. And I think I should just play a beautiful song now.
Okay, so um, again, you saw me tweaking and uh, working all these knobs and buttons with this beautiful uh, song by Olita Adams, Get Here. Um, right, so at uh, Dexibel, we are also very, very much into friends and family. Uh, we have a lot of great, great, great musicians in our in our surrounding and um, yeah okay this is now my picture that was not on purpose anyhow it's moving and uh, <clears throat> so our community our community is steadily growing and growing and growing and people really enjoy playing with our instruments and this of course naturally makes us makes us quite proud of course so um, I think uh, let's dive into the f uh, families and friends subjects a little bit deeper at this uh, at this moment because I actually do have a surprise for you. I do have a very, very special guest for you. This webinar is focusing on Dexable's acoustic piano library. So what could be better than to have a wonderful musician jazz pianist, composer, songwriter, and arranger joining us as a special guest. She was born in Niigata, Japan, and because she loved playing the toy piano, that her parents gave to her, she decided she should have piano lessons. She attended a famous Japanese music school and started taking piano lessons at the age of four. Aside with her classical background, she grew up with a strong influence on American popular music, jazz, and R&B. Later, she found a music school in Los Angeles and enrolled to learn songwriting and how to use a sequencer. She decided that she had to have a career in the American music industry and on that path, Apart from playing the piano, she has composed and programmed music for some of TV's most followed shows, including America's Got Talent and The Little Big Shot. She has been playing piano with her group TLQ Plus since 2018. A contemporary jazz album of original songs will be released in 2021. Welcome as the first special guest to the Academia Dexibel, Official endorsed artist of Dexibel, Masumi Yamamoto. Hi, Ralph. Hello, Masumi. It's so great seeing you. Thank you. Great seeing you, too. Hey, you are obviously at home, I guess. Yes, I am. Yes. Yes. So are all of us, I think, at this very moment, unfortunately. And um, how is it going in uh, Los Angeles? How are you doing at this moment? I'm doing great. I'm, actually, I'm having a great time uh, staying at home and practice and learning new stuff and working on some um, a new project coming up and um, writing new songs for my new album. So I'm doing pretty much the same thing as, uh, as usual. But uh, I think the situation here is the same as other places. Uh, people are staying at their houses, and uh, everybody's trying their everybody's trying their best to keep themselves as safe and healthy. Yes, pretty much same here in Berlin. So uh, let's all try to stay safe and healthy and uh, practice piano, basically. Right, right exactly. <laughs> yes, that's a great time, you know, pra practicing piano. Yeah. So speaking about <laughs> piano, Masumi, how did you find out about Dexibel? How did you come across? I mean, when we found out about you, we for sure knew we we really had to have you in our family, in our team. So <laughs> how, how was it for you? Thank you. Thank you so much for the kind words. And I actually, uh, it was at NAM 2019. And I visited the Dexabel booth to see my friend's performance. Uh, his name is Jero Da Silva. He's mm -hmm. a great pianist. Yes, he is. Uh, yeah, he is. And after watching his show, I had a chance to meet Antonio. And I also had a chance to play a Dexabel keyboards. 
And I was like, wow, you know, I never seen anything like that, never heard uh, any sounds like that before in my life. I was so excited and I play like every single one of them from here to there, everything. Okay. And it was so beautiful and it's so different and it was so unique. And I immediately noticed the action of the keys and um, the sound. Um, it was like, oh my God, it was like I fell in love with them instantly. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> it was just so quickly. It's like one note and I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. So that's how I met Dexigo. Thank you. Thank you so much, Masumi. Oh, um, my pleasure. <laughs> you will be shortly performing a tune for us. And um, I know you choose the classic grand sound for this performance. Yes, I did. And uh, w what made you choose exactly this kind of sound? Uh, obviously, this classic grand piano sound is so beautiful, and I think it has a really nice texture, and it is very warm and dark. Um, I love using those kind of sounds when I'm recording or playing because um, it allows me to express my feelings very comfortably. So. Uh, that's the reason why I chose this sound. But also, this this sound is just so perfect. I thought this part, this sound is so perfect to play this piece. So that's the reason why I chose this sound. Wow, wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing this with us. And um, the, the musical piece you, choose, you, you chose to perform is actually a, written by a German composer. Right. You are from Japan. So uh, yes. is there um, any kind of idea or relation between you and this piece of music or the composer? Uh, I started classical music. I started learning classical music when I was four. So since then, I am so familiar with uh, German composers, I think. And especially this piece, um, definitely this piece is very special for me. Um, I loved Schumann's music and, of course, this piece since I was a kid. I think the first time I played this one was uh, seven or eight years old. Yeah. And, <laughs> and since then, uh, every time I play it, it reminds me of my happy childhood or spend time with my family. And it makes me feel really, like, um, happy and calm. Yeah. Uh, right now, right now we are going through a very uncertain time. Yes. So I need to do something for myself. You know, I really need to do, I needed to play this piece again for myself. And I needed something that makes me calm and peaceful. So I hope that the, my video that we're going to watch now will make my friend peaceful and calm and happy as well. Okay, I'm I'm quite sure it will because uh, your playing style is just just beautiful. There's one word for it. It's just beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so I think uh, thank you very much, Masumi. Uh, thank you for, for spending time with us. Thank you. Thank so you for having me. Very thank much you. appreciate it. So without any further ado, I would say, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Masumi Yamamoto, Robert Schumann. Die Träumerei.
So let's let's pay Masumi all the respect. That was so beautiful, so emotional. Masumi, thank you very, very much for joining us here today um, at the Dexable Academia. Okay, I will go uh, back to Q&A one more time. And there is Matthias asking uh, if there is an indication uh, how much memory you'll gain from deleting a certain sound. It would be most helpful when organizing sounds. Yes, Matthias, let's have a, a brief look here. Uh, what we can do. So in the meanwhile, while Masumi was playing, I have installed the Italian platinum sound because I will play one more song a little bit later. But let's go into um, the sound library. And here you can first of all uh, see the sounds that are already installed. And if you use the right arrow here, you can see the sound and if you press info it's the library size of that sound so we know now that the choir pad has four megabyte let's go for the electric grunt do the same thing here you see two patches in the sound and the info is 39 megabyte so this means when you uh, delete this sound and when you raise it from the internal memory you gain 39 megabytes. So let's do one more example of the, uh, for example, this Italian Grand Platinum. The info is 763 megabyte. That's a lot of memory. That's actually the idea behind the platinum sounds um, to have uh, no compromise in memory size, no compromise whatsoever, to be uh, able to have the maximum. Uh, experience and power and quality that you can get out of the Dexable sound engine. This again goes for all our series, the home pianos, the stage pianos, the portable pianos, and also what we call our legacy instruments, S7, S3. Um, we have the same sound engine and of course the, J, uh, the J7 combo organ. Um, so I would actually recommend using platinum sounds, first of all, in the studio or for certain gigs when you're really sure uh, you want to have one specific sound and you're sure that the audio quality in the PA in the room is on a very, very high level. So I have had to play, I had to play gigs when I had uh, one mono guitar amp instead of real monitor system. Uh, in this case, I probably wouldn't bother using <laughs> using a platinum sound. But um, when you have a real good sound and you want to have this, this performance quality, the sound quality, then you use a platinum sound. And I, of course, you have to erase some of the other sounds. Let me give you that example, what I've done to make enough space for, um, for this uh, Italian platinum sound. Uh, earlier in this webinar, I have been using upright Italian Grand, but not the Platinum version, and also the Vivo Grand. I erased those three and I replaced with the Italian Platinum. So uh, rather than having three different pianos, I have one, but at the very maximum level of quality. In addition to the Italian Grand, you let me give this to you on the display again. I have all these sounds still installed in the instrument. So installing a platinum sound does not mean you don't have space for anything else anymore. Here is the Italian platinum. One more time, I'll show you. Here is the library size. There is still loads and loads and loads of room for all the other sounds. So this is one way of finding out about uh, how, uh, how much memory one sound is consuming. Then there is uh, another way when you downloaded the sounds and you have them on your uh, computer. Then you can see here the size of memory uh, that this will use in your RAM. So this means you go inside the... Um, you go inside, let me see if I can show this to you simultaneously. 
you go inside the sound library and you press add and then you press free size and then you see you have 128 megabyte of free space and then you have a look here and you see that none of these at this moment will fit but that's no problem because um, then you will make uh, more space erase something else or you will choose uh, synthesizer sound because this is at the screen what you see is the complete piano library so uh, these are the ways uh, of uh, actually finding out finding out how much space you will have and how much space uh, one sound will consume Okay, Matthias, I hope I could uh, answer your question in the right way. And uh, I guess we are reaching the uh, final stage of this webinar. Um, I would like to thank you one more time for being here today with me from all around the world. I'm so happy to do that. I'm so happy to talk to you, to play for you. Thank you one more time, Masumi-san, for being part of this webinar today. One more time, let's give you the applause, yay. <laughs> and um, I would like to announce the next upcoming webinar at this moment. It's going to be at Monday, April the 21st, 7 p.m. So we move away from the weekend. We want to try uh, weekday, but you can always send us your suggestions, which would be your favorite day because it's kind of a research we are doing at this moment and we try to reach the best possible result as with everything we do. The next uh, webinar subject will be Dexibel, the electric piano library. So things we have seen and learned today with acoustic piano, we will have a look, a close look, an in-depth look with the electric piano sounds of the Dexibel sound library. It will be about the flexibility of the tones, again using effects and uh, T2L engine, creating layers, creating patches, etc., etc. And of course, as usual, there will be a section for you to ask your questions. And again, the Dexibel team will answer in the background. I will pick up some of your questions and try to answer them in real time. At this moment, also, thank you very, very much to the Dexibel team in the background, who is helping me tremendously to make this webinar possible, first of all. And one more time, thank you very much to all of you around the world, staying inside. We all have to do that for a couple of more, I hope, only days, not months. I really hope. I really hope. And uh, again, as musicians, we are at least blessed that we can play the music and we can have a great time with our beautiful instruments. So, um, what more to do? I think I will play one more song for you today and I will use the Italian platinum sound. It's one of my favorite piano sounds in this piano. It's beautiful, it is deaf, it's fantastic. And I would like to say one more time, thanks to all of you. Stay healthy, stay safe. And I will see you again on the 21st of April at 7 p.m. <laughs>